There are a couple of nice Canon rumors going around the web, so let's check them out. The first one is that the Canon R5 II is likely to be announced between October, November, December of 2023. There are no major rumors about the specs, but it looks like the resolution will remain about the same as on the R5. There will be mostly minor improvements, that's what the rumors are saying, but it's really all white rumors as of now. The only thing that seems sure is that the camera is indeed coming by late 2023. There's also a rumor about a new Canon zoom fisheye lens and there might be also another lens, a tilt shift lens. There is no info about the possible specs of this lens, but I wonder if it's something that you would love to see, for example, on the Sony E-mount range, if Sony would do that, if you are interested into this. I think there is some case for it because tilt shift lenses are very great for uh, architectural photography. This would be definitely a lens that uh, is missing in the Sony segment and that would make sense for a couple of photographers that are into this. And it also looks like Canon is working on making very fast primes. A new Japanese published patent shows the optical design of a 35mm 1.2 full frame RF lens and a 12mm 1.2 full frame RF lens. Of course, having a 12mm 1.2 is quite unique. It would be the world's widest, fastest lens and probably a dream lens for astrophotographers. And also, I guess, a very big lens. Let's see if they really make it because uh, designing a patent is not the same as wanting to really make the product. There is a long way between a patent and releasing the product on the mass market. Often uh, engineers and uh, companies make such patents just to protect themselves and not because they really have the intention to make those kind of lenses. Although I think the 35mm 1.2 could definitely come into market. But I would really be curious to see that 12mm 1.2 RF full frame lens for real. This uh, would be probably be much bigger and larger and weight much more than the currently fastest wide angle prime lens from Sigma, which is the 40 mm 1.4. But those were all the news we got about Canon as of now. If there's any update, I will make a new video. So please again, subscribe and I see you soon, folks.